Now we're going to pick up where we left off. Uh, you can use the model that you've created before, or if you want, you can pull the one we have off the disk, and that is called Fish Model Part 2. Open that. And this is pretty much the same model that we created, which is uh, a fish with the eye socket, and it's cut in half. The next thing we need to do is to duplicate this fish body and weld it back to the original body. So we need to create another half, uh, basically a right half, and uh, join those two together. Since we modeled this uh, eye socket around this eye, it would probably be a good idea to connect the eye to the, the mesh itself. So I'm going to go ahead and select Editable Poly, go down to Attach, and I can either attach it by clicking on the eyeball itself, or if you want, the dialog box has a list of all the objects in the scene, and we can attach that. Notice how it changed color. And now it's a part of the mesh. This is where elements comes in. We have the actual body, which is one element, and we have the eyeball, which is another element. Now I want to duplicate this and flop it over to make an opposite side. The easiest way to do that is to use our mirror tool. So I'm going to select the fish, hit mirror selected objects, and it looks like mirroring it around the y-axis. Go ahead and click on copy so you can see both of these. So in this case mirroring around the y-axis is going to give us the result we need. Then I'm going to move this fish over. But we actually have two separate objects here. We have this fish here, which is called box one, and this one, which is called box two. We need to tie those two together as one object. So what we're gonna do that is uh, do another attach. So I select the left side of the fish, attach, and then click on this mesh. And now they're all within the same mesh. They're all within box 01. But if you notice, we've got one, two, three, and four separate elements. We've got two eyes and two halves of the body. We want to bring this right half of the body over and tie them together. How are we going to do that? Let's go into our front view, or actually our left view in this case, and I'm going to go to select polygon mode, rubber band, and drag the whole fish. I'm going to zoom in a bit and I want to cut, basically just get those edges so they're pretty much overlapping. Now what we have is we have two halves that are pretty much lined up and we need to attach those. We're going to attach those by selecting the edges and welding those edges together. How do we do that? Well, first thing we need to do is select all the edges down the middle. So I'm going to click Select and rubber band down the middle. In fact, let me do that again. Just a very narrow box. And what you'll get is you'll get all the edges down the middle plus the horizontal ones on the right and the left side. So we want to get rid of those horizontal ones. So I'm going to Alt-click and subtract and I'll click and subtract again. And now I want to look at this in my perspective viewport to make sure I've got just those edges I want. Perfect. Now all we have to do is just weld those together. And we can do that very easily by clicking the weld button. Notice how that kind of changed. If I unselect my fish, reselect it, notice how this is all one element now, and it's all one fish. Go ahead and save that out, and now we're going to work on the fins. At this point, I'm going to unhide my reference image and go into my perspective view. 
Now, if we model this reasonably well, you'll we have three edges here. One, two, oops, one, two, three, that we can use to make that dorsal fin. So how do we do that? Well, we select the edges as we have just done, and then we extrude them. Now this is kind of a little bit high, so we want to bring those down, and we don't want the fin nearly as wide, so I'm going to bring in the base width probably to about there, just to give it a little bit of meat at the where it connects to the body. And then I'm going to hit Apply. And then that actually does another extrude. I hit Apply again, that'll make three. And that should be enough so we can model everything. Go to this view. And this is where we tweak vertices again. So I'm going to go Edit Vertex. And at this point, I want to see through the model again. So I'm going to touch Properties, See Through. And now I can see what I'm doing. Grab the vertices and yank them around. And start building the fin. Now this particular fin has spikes in the drawing, but I think we're just going to skip that for now because we're this is definitely going to run pretty long. So we're going to go ahead and just make a simpler fin. And that's that's close enough. Again, you can tweak it however much you want. Let's go ahead and I'm going to uh, click off see-through. In fact, let's take a look at what it looks like all smooth. So I'm going to go ahead onto subdivision surface and click on smooth. Well, the fin's not quite high enough, so I'm going to pull it up just a little bit. Give it a little bit more height. Now let's create the fins underneath. We're going to do that using two different tools. Okay. I think what I want to do at this point is uh, hide this reference. And we're just going to freeform these fins. So I'm going to hide that again. Now, the, since the fins are symmetrical, it probably would have been a good idea if we had uh, created them when we created the eyes and then just uh, flopped them. But at this point, we'll go ahead and create these using two tools. I'm going to create one fin. See, right about there is where we need to have that fin. At this point, I'm going to use a hinge from Edge. And I'm going to pick my hinge. And that looks like about right, actually, right around 74, 75. It seems like that's about right. Click OK. Now I'm going to select this edge at the very top of this, and then just extrude that. And that will be my first fin. Oops. Now go through all of those and create a fin here using the exact same method. In from edge. Now notice how the angle stays the same. So say OK. This is the nice thing is about this these particular tools is that they remember what the last setting was. So if I do an extrude, it's actually going to extrude at the exact same amount that I did before. And I can do those on the other side as well. Hinge from edge. Pick my hinge. OK. Select 
like my extrude. So actually this way we are actually getting these very symmetrical because the tool is remembering our settings. But again, you probably should have done we probably should have done this beforehand. And I picked that last edge and extrude it. And now we have four of our lower fins. Okay, now I'm going to save this and we're going to go on to creating the back fin in the next movie.